the world. This one Boyan could be a real classic. Denisenko against Mendish. Up to 68 kilograms. Match number 119. And then in blue, representing Russia, Denisenko Alexey. Well, a big ovation for Alexey Denisenko, the hometown favourite. And also a big favourite in Taekwondo. Fantastic style. Great fighter. Nice pat on the head for the little volunteer. Yeah, in red. Representing Great Britain. Magnus Christian. Oh, Christian Magnus, you can see by the ranking how well he has done to get into this one. Loving the camera, and loving his big moment under the lights here. What a performance he's had today. An early win against Iran, set him up, and he's just kept on rolling. There's Denisenko's route through. Magnish with three big wins, we mentioned that win against Iran. Also defeating Jaoud Ashab, world champion from Belgium, by eight points to zero. So McNeish on form. Dr. Chung Won Cho, world governing body president, in prime position to enjoy this battle here. And it is a battle of the bronze medalists. Two Olympic bronzes for Denisenko and one youth Olympic bronze for McNeish. Who's going to go one better here and get themselves into the Grand Prix final? Not just the glory of gold that matters, ranking points, as well as a nice winner's check. But points make prizes, of course, and who can get on the board first? We get to enjoy it. Russia against Great Britain. Denisenko, the more experienced of the two. McNeish, no shortage of tactics and athleticism. Tries a headshot straight away there, McNeish. He's the man in red, Denisenko. Of course, the home favourite. Can he get the crowd going? McNeish changes stance, looking for a different angle. Good push kick to the body from Denisenko. Finds the gap. Good right leg attempt there from McNeish. A little bit low, but close with the distance. He's got his timing right. Denisenko seeing this coming, he's got his game plan right, the Russian. Looking for that chop kick over the top. Keeps that hand up in front. Good back kick there from the Russian. That's always a good weapon against the chop kick. He's changed his stance, leaves a little space. Denisenko comes forward. Decent start from the British fighter here. We reach into the final minute of the first. Well, is the referee going to call pushing or falling? It's falling for the Russian. Good work from the Iranian centre referee. 2-1 to the Russian fighter, Denisenko. Good push kick from McNeish. Pulls himself into the lead. Last 30 seconds in the first round here. Denisenko comes forward with the double. Good blocking from McNeish. Did he keep both feet in? He did not. So a couple of two-point scores from both men and a couple of Gamjons as we went to the last 20 seconds here. Last 10 in the first. McNeish in red, Denisenko in blue, all tied up at three points each. Good round from both men. Christian McNeese's biggest occasion was at Youth Olympic Games in Nanjing. Had to fight hard to get a bronze medal. Denisenko, of course, has two Olympic bronze medals to his name, as well as a silver medal from the Olympics.
from the World Championships in Chelyabinsk. So he knows how to succeed in Russia. But it is a salute for McNeish. Started well, the British fighter. Second semi-final in the under 58 kilogram grouping. Denisenko against McNeish, Russia against Great Britain. Under 68 kilogram gold at stake. Ah, oh, big fall from McNeish there. Went for the double, straight off, fell over. And that gives Denisenko a little lead here. Alexei Denisenko in blue, trying to cause a bit of trouble now for Christian McNeish. Again, in that close distance, that fighting range. Just falling a little bit short there. McNeish tries a back leg. Good counter from Denisenko. Both men beginning to get the rhythm now. This one heating up here. Overreaches with that hook kick to the body. Good headshot attempt there from the British fighter. Lovely counter though from Denisenko. And he found that shot, landed it clean. And he extends his lead. McNeish turns away again, takes another one. Well, how quickly things can change around. A minute to go in the second round. Denisenko was tied up at three points each with McNeish. It's only taken him a minute. Good shot from McNeish. Was it low? Was it okay? No, it was okay indeed. That Gam John will help. Six point gap now. Denisenko with that front leg just missing. Well, he's shown plenty of confidence so far, Christian McNeish. Not overawed by the occasion. There's a headshot attempt there and lands it. Denisenko scoring as well. That relaxation from the British fighter in red. Has he got something left in this 20 seconds in the second? Now what does the referee do here? Good work. Clear Gamjon. Four point game. McNeish is clawing his way back into this one slightly. Denisenko on the back foot, the Russian. And he will be happy to see the end of this second round for sure. Last five. Oh, well, McNeish looked to be down and out. He's pulling himself slowly back into this semi-final. Denisenko, of course, still has that four-point gap, looking pretty comfortable, but under a bit more pressure at the business end of this semi-final. Both men will know that Ide Hoon is waiting for them in that final, but who can make it? That one head kick there from McNeish. That's pulled him back into this one. Alexei Denisenko, though, has all the patience required and the backing of the Moscow faithful here. Russia or Great Britain for a fight off in the final against Korea. Denisenko happy to wait. Likes to counter off of that front leg. McNeish not overawed by the occasion. Can he create something here? Tries a little push to the body. Has Denisenko on the back foot. Good counter from the Russian. Little shot there under the guard from the British fighter in red. Goes with the punch as well. The judges didn't give it too much credence though. Got a two-point gap now for Denisenko. 
He was eight points up. He's lost the momentum a little bit here, the Russian. And that's due to the work of Christian McNeish. Headshot there, and he's got his confidence up. The shoulders are down. The head point is up. Denisenko now has to come forward. The Russian changes stance, goes with the back leg. Nice counter from Alexei Denisenko. The first two points that he has scored in the last two rounds. 45 seconds left in the third round, an engrossing semi-final here. Denisenko looking for that front leg. He has the lead, almost scoring with the headshot there. McNeish looking for a headshot of his own. Does well to stay on his feet. Denisenko scores another shot on the way through. A three-point game, 30 seconds left. Good punch there from Denisenko. Pops it off the chest guard and lands himself four points into the lead. McNeish changing, trying to find a gap through here. Goes for the head of Denisenko. The Russian defending well, on the back foot, into the last 10 seconds. Well, it will be a gamge on to Denisenko. It will cut to three now. Five seconds left. Denisenko for a spot in the final. The Russian will take another gamge on for this. Two-point gap, two seconds left. Can McNeish find the shot, or is Denisenko into the final? The Russian closing down will take another gamge on, but the clock ticks down. What an effort. Seventeen.